Hi everyone, it's Anna, and today I wanted to talk to you guys really quickly about a problem that some of you have been reporting, particularly with Creative Cloud and also with Creative Suite about how um, when you open your images in Photoshop, you're finding that they look grainy or noisy or blurry, and it doesn't have anything to do with the ISO. Like even if you shot at a low ISO, it looks noisy. And I wasn't having this problem until just a few days ago. It just the same thing started happening to me. So I did a little bit of research and I found a way that I was able to fix this on my computer. So hopefully this will help you guys some. But just to give you an example of what I'm talking about, when I have an image open in Photoshop, when I zoom out and then zoom back in, it just looks really grainy and blurry and the image just, it shouldn't look that way. It, once I get in closer, it's fine, but as I move out, even when it's taking up a large portion of my screen, it looks just really grainy, and it, it just shouldn't look like that. So what I found through my research is that um, my cache levels were um, set way too low in Photoshop. So maybe that's the problem that some of you guys are having so to change your cache levels you would want to go to edit and then preferences and then select performance now under performance i found that my cache levels were set all the way down to two for some reason i don't know how or why that happened because i don't think there would be any reason that I would have set my cache levels that low. And I know that Photoshop defaults to either four or six for the cache levels. So what I did was increase my cache levels to um, eight because you can actually go all the way up to eight here. Um, and the reason that I have them set now to eight is because I use very um, high resolution images and I, they don't have a lot of layers to them. So if you were working with like a low resolution resolution image, you would want a, a, a small cache level. But if you're working with um, very large image files, you want your cache level to be higher. Now keep in mind that this is going to use um, more uh, disk space and more RAM on your computer, but um, if you're doing a lot of editing with high resolution files, you'll want your, your cache level to be higher. So I'm going to press OK. And now I need to close out of Photoshop for the um, changes to take place. So after you set your cache levels, close this out. And then I'm going to open up Photoshop again. OK, and now I'm going to open up the image on my desktop. And I'll show you that the image now looks exactly like it should when I zoom in and out. So zooming in and out, it's not um, grainy and fuzzy like it was in the other image. So again, this is something that it worked for me because my cache levels were really low. So you may want to go into your cache levels and check yours to see where they should be or that they are where they should be. So again, what you'll want to do is select edit, preferences, performance, and cache levels over here on the right. Like I was saying, mine was set all the way down to two, which is not optimized for high resolution images. So try your um, cache level at four, five, six, and if you want to, you can go all the way to eight. Press okay, and again, you'll need to restart Photoshop. 